In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Cogent Data Hub to send email and SMS alerts from an OPC data source. The first thing we need to do is connect to an OPC data source. So I'm going to add a connection to our top server. I'm going to put it in the top server domain. Uh, a data domain is just a fancy way to group the tags. We'll do it at a one second scan and we'll load all the items. Click OK, apply. When you connect to your OPC server, it should load all the items and it should go to a running status. This means we have an active connection to the server. If we view the data and go to the top server section, we can see all the tags we sucked in. We're gonna focus on using the uh, data type example tags here. Okay, so with that, let's go to our email SMS section. Next, we need to enter our mail server information. So SMTP um, the, my sender email address is just my email and that's all we need for this mail server. Uh, we click apply to save the changes and now let's configure an individual email message. Uh, I'm going to send this to myself so I'll just copy and paste this. The email is going to be a alarm high. Um, then we need to specify the body of the email. There was a high alarm for tag, and then we can insert different properties of the tag by finding the tag in the tree view. So let me find my bool1 tag. We're going to insert the name. Um, so we, there was a high value for the tag name, value quality timestamp, we're going to insert each of these. So we're going to insert the value, the quality, and last but not least, the timestamp. So if you just just to summarize what we did here, we chose the point from the right, we chose the property, and we clicked insert point, which then inserts this text string here, which will uh, send the value, quality, and timestamp in the email. All right. So now that we've defined our message, let's define what will trigger the message to be sent. So we're going to do it on a point change, and we're going to say when this Boolean tag changes. Now this would do it if it was 1 or a 0. So then we need to go to the conditions tab, and we need to activate the first condition, and say when bool1 is equal to 1. Click Create, click Apply, and Done. Now let's open the script log, let's clear the log, and let's trigger an email to be sent. So if we go to zero, nothing should happen because we're only sending the value when it's one. Uh, looks like we tried to send an email, let's wait for the success message. We should get that here in a second. And once we get that, I will check my email and see if I got an email or not. Okay, so if I pull my email over here, you can see here we did get the email. Um, the email is, says this was a high alarm for tag. It says the whole tag name, the value, the quality, and the timestamp. Let's move this back. Now that we've done this for a Boolean tag, I'd like to show you how this can be done for an analog tag. So let's click Configure. Let's just do a whole new message. So I'm going to copy and paste my email back in here. And then we'll say that the value exceeded high limit. OK. And the tag that we want to put in here is or that we're going to be monitoring again another k and this time we'll do I was going to do double one so v 
the tag blah 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 changed to and then we'll insert the value at insert the time with a quality of insert quality okay so what we've defined is we're going to say the tag the tag name changed to the value with the timestamp and the quality now we need to say what's going to trigger it again this is going to be a point change so let's find our point k double one insert that all right let's go to the condition tab and define the condition so let's find the tag here we'll go data type and k and find double one we'll insert it and we'll say if the value is greater than or equal to 100 so that will send an email if the value exceeds or is equal to 100. Um, now in this case we would send an email when the value hit 100 when it hit 101 when it hit 102 and every time it changed above the value of 100. Most users don't want that. So in order to handle that use case, we need to add another condition. And that is if previous was less than 100. What this will do is this will ensure that we only send an email if the value crosses over the threshold to the 100 mark. Uh, but not every time it increases after that. So if the value went from 99 to 100, we'd send an email. If the value went to 101, 102, 103, no emails would be sent. If the value was fluctuating between 99 and 100, it would send multiple emails. Let's click modify here to modify that one. Apply, done and apply. Now, let's clear our event log. Now let's do a quick test. What we're gonna do is we'll set the value to 105. The value is currently 99, so this should exceed the threshold. Let's see what happens here. The mail said it six, sent successfully. Let's check our email. We'll pull this over here for you guys to see. And here's the email that we got. The tag top server double one changed to 105 at 10.06 a.m. with a quality of good. Uh, the last thing that I'd like to talk to you about is how to send a text message. So if we go back to our email, and instead I wanted to send a text message. The email address to send a text message depends on the carrier. So I know for Verizon it's vtext.com and you can look up what your carrier's email extension is. Um, before that you just need the seven, excuse me, the 10 digit phone number. So uh, let's do 704-849-2773 at vtext.com. This is our office phone number, so this won't work, but let's assume our office phone number was a Verizon cell phone. We could then send a email or SMS message to this cell phone using this phone number here. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, in this video, we connected to an OPC DA server and we sent two different types of email alerts. We sent a Boolean alert and we sent an alert based on an analog value.